Okay. So on the top table we have James DeGale, his trainer, Jim McDonnell, Chris Eubank Jr., his trainer, Ronnie Davis, and a few words first of all from our promoter in the UK, Richard Boxen. Morning everybody. I'd like to thank everyone for their attendance today and wish everybody a happy new year. Firstly, I'd like to say how personally proud I am that this new relationship between Premier Boxing Champions, probably the biggest, or without doubt, the biggest promotional company in the world with the best fighters in the world, and ITV, who we consider the biggest broadcaster in Britain, will take us, and take us back to the glory days on ITV of the Big Fight Live. And I think that managing this relationship and bringing it together is, is going to be great for British boxing. There'll be boxing against, across all the platforms on ITV, both in Britain and from America. I think the announcement of the first two shows shows the quality of events we'll be getting from America. There's the Usker Teg we plan, super middleweight fight, and then the week after that, six days after that, we go straight to Brona Pacquiao, another massive fight. And those are the type of events we'll be looking to put on this year. But for the first British event, it's probably one of the most anticipated fights of the last two or three years, I believe, with James DeGale, you know, whose credibility is without question. They don't, um, they don't get Olympic gold medals away to anybody. James has got one of those. Two time world Two oh, I'm just going to add that. Just give me a second. I'm just warming up to that. Yes. Two time world champion, you know, lost it, went straight back and won it back, which is a sign, always a sign of a great champion. You know, people lose fights and then they try and skirt around rematches or float off and do something different. James didn't do that. He went straight after the guy who beat him and got it back. On my left is Chris, who obviously needs no introduction again. I've worked with Chris over two or three fights now. Him and his dad, pleasure to work with. Very, very professional in his preparation and everything he does. Shown he belongs at the level. Probably feels he's got something to prove after the disappointment of the George Groves fight in the past. And I think it, he's just got every ingredient to be a great event at the O2. Really, really looking forward to it. Looking forward to the build-up and especially looking forward to the fight. So again, I'd just like to thank everybody for coming and say, look, really looking forward to this year and the events that we'll be bringing to you. I'll pass you over to uh, James to tell you how he's going to prepare for this fight and what his thoughts on it are. Yeah, where do I start? So, thank you for coming. Uh, it's a great turnout. Uh, listen, this, this fight's been a long time coming. Uh, a lot of people have been calling for this fight. Chris has been calling for this fight for a long time. When he first turned professional, the guy was calling me out. Uh, he's very deluded. On the 23rd of February, I get my chance to deal with this guy good and proper. And finish him, because after he's lost to me, I'm not too sure where he's going to go. Uh, thankfully, we've only got seven more weeks to wait. I look forward to it. I hope he's ready. Make sure you tune in. It's going to be a good night of boxing. Yeah, yeah, Chris, uh, you and your father have been calling for this fight for some time. Now that it's a reality, what's the overriding feeling? Um, I'm happy. I'm, I'm comfortable. Uh, at this stage of my career, uh, big fights, fan favourite fights are the only thing I'm looking for. And uh, this fight has been, you know, four or five years in the making. Um, James says I'm deluded. I guess you guys are going to find out which one of us is. Uh, well, you very, still very think soon. you still think you beat George Groves and Billy Joe Saunders? You're telling me that you're deluded. We're, we're not talking about it's Billy crazy. Joe Saunders it's or madness. George Groves. We're talking about me and you. And, yes. uh, and you're going to get schooled in February. It's going to be a, it's going to be a, a painful a painful lesson for you. That's what you right. think. You're hoping, this is what you're hoping, Chris. You're of hoping course, I die, I don't live the life, I die and you're going to catch up with me. You know you're going to be down after six rounds. You know that. But you're hoping that I die and I'm not fit. I'm going to get better as the fight goes on. It's going to get easier as the fight goes on. I, I wish you the best of luck. I wish you the best of luck as well. You're going to need unfortunately for you, like I said, this fight is, I've been calling for this fight for years. I've yep. been training yep. to beat you for years. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I know I know everything about you. I know yeah. how you fight. I know your weaknesses. Vice versa. And, uh, I know Vice how to versa. exploit them. So You're limited. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. J James, where do you place Chris in terms of the, the career challenges you've faced? Oh, well done. Like, he's not... Come on, I've boxed the best in the world. The very, very best in the world. From Andre Durrell when I won my world title, Lucien Boutier out in Canada, 
uh, Badu Jack, War in New York. I've mixed with the high of the high, you know what I'm saying? And uh, as I say, Chris, Chris is Chris is a, he's, he's a good fighter, he's a tough fighter. Uh, he does bring it, he's got a lot of heart, he's got, he's got a big set of balls, but that's not going to be enough to beat me on the 23rd of February. And I think you know that deep, deep down. I think, as I say, he expects to be down after six rounds. And he, and I think he's hoping I'm not fit, and he and he put and he puts on the pressure, and 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 he can take me out. But I'm hoping you, as I said, bring the best you can bring on the night. I'm not yes, hoping Chris. you're not fit at all. I, yes. hope, I hope we can give the fans yeah. the most exciting, yeah. explosive yeah. fight that we possibly can. Yes. Um, I just don't believe that you have what it no. takes to Chris, stay you're going, with me. You're going to go back to school for this fight on the 23rd. Okay. You're going to school. You've been to school before. I like how you copy my words as well. It's, no, it's funny how copy your words. Yeah, well, you know, I've, I've been saying I'm going to school you, and now, and now you're going to take me back to school. Come on, find, find some oh of your own material. Come on, bro. You're going back to school, bro. Chris, it's a fair point, isn't it, though? I mean, you know, you didn't, you didn't manage to step up against George Groves. And it, aren't those who say that you're going to have to step up now that, of a valid opinion now, you're going to have to step up again? Well, how big is the step up uh, compared to the George Groves fight? Uh, listen, this, this is a huge fight. It's just as big as the George Gross fight. Uh, but in terms of the challenge that James offers? Yeah, he, listen, he, he's, uh, he's a world-level proven fighter. Uh, of course, I'm not taking this fight lightly. Um, you know, I've got a, uh, a new team around me, and um, we've, been working on, we've been working on a lot of new things. Um, so you guys are going to see a new and improved Chris Eubank Jr., what has changed, Chris? Because that obviously was one of the things that came out of the Groves fight, that, that a lot of people felt out there that you needed to transform your backroom staff if you were to continue in this game to world level. Well, yeah, I, I haven't really had an official trainer. Ronnie Davis here has been with me by my side my entire career, but he hasn't trained me per se. It's more He's, he's more of an overseer. He guides me. I haven't really had an actual official trainer um, I've kind of just done my own thing. I've trained myself pretty much. Uh, for this fight, that will be different. Um, I've been working with a, a man named Nate Vasquez from uh, Las Vegas. Um, he's been uh, living with me. Um, he had to travel back home for, for Christmas, but he's back, actually flew in today. So, um, you know, it's good to have a solid a solid. Uh, a solid guy there that's that's with me 24/7, um, working on me, working with me on specific things I need to do instead of me just uh, going through the motions and, and getting fit and and uh, and trying to beat guys, you know, using heart and and and, uh, and determination. Now we have strategy involved, um, and this is going to be. Uh, I think this is going to take me to the next level, Jim. James, what do you make of that? Different approach, uh, a tactically changed fighter. Chris is, Chris is too arrogant to listen to another coach and, and, and to learn different things. Uh, he can bring on who he wants. It, it, it won't change, Chris. Uh, as I say, this would be as easy as I make it. Yeah, Simple. I think we're all creatures of habit. What you've been doing a lifetime, you can't change in six to eight weeks. We're all creative, ever you brought up on what you brought up on. You can't go in the gym with anything that can be detrimental rather than advantageous. You better stick with what you know. Trying to change it now is a bit, it's a bit crazy. Well, Ronnie, you, I imagine, have seen this new trainer at work. What, what, what's the difference? What's happening in there? Well, <clears throat> I'll never... He was always told from day one to listen to no one, only himself, by his father. So I stepped back. I can't do the paperwork. I haven't done paperwork for 15 years because my hands are wrecked. I've just had a knee replacement and back's half gone, but apart from that, I look quite good, don't I? <laughs> but um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, it's, it works all right. He's looking good, he's looking fit. Um, we we'll see you on the night. James, it was interesting um, listening to the opinions of Shane McGuigan when asked about this fight. He said that Chris Eubank Jr. might just have a little bit more in the, in the tank. Yeah. Well, yeah, a lot. Obviously, going by my last couple of performances, a lot of people think I'm on a decline. A lot of people think I'm shot. But I've had, I'm not going to go over it again because I've said it in loads of interviews about my injuries and, and so on. So I'm just going to leave it to the night. But I've had, in, I've had injury problems. 
Uh, I've been fighting injured for a long time, but I don't want to make excuses. Uh, a lot of people think I want to decline, but they're going to get a big shock on the night, on fight night. As I say, we've only got seven weeks to wait. It's not, it's not long. Uh, and Chris, uh, this is a last chance, isn't it? James suggested it. Is this a last chance, a fight you have to win? Uh, you, we have to win. As fighters, we have to win every fight. Um, Call this the retirement fight. Call this the retirement fight. Because whoever loses, knock it on the head. <laughs> you as well, yeah? This is it, this is it for you, James. Call this the retirement fight. Speak for yourself, James. Call this the retirement <laughs> fight, Rupert. Call this yourself. the retirement fight. Because when you lose, go and finish. Uh, well, a final word on that, Richard Boxen, uh, for whoever wins. There's not much to add to that, what, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. Next, what what, yeah. what next for whoever wins? What opportunities are out there? Well, the division's really exciting at the moment. We've got James's old title being boxed for in a couple of weeks. Oscar Tegui against Plant, really, really good fight. You know, George Groves, I'm sure, is going to come back at some stage shortly. This Callum Smith also has just beat George Groves. So it's a division that's really, really full of talent at the moment, below it and the weight above it. So, you know, whoever wins this fight will go on to bigger and bigger fights. And in a way, James is right. Whoever loses this fight is probably going to have to have a look at uh, plotting a way back at maybe a weight above or, or where they go. I don't, I don't know because it's the pride. The, I think the pride between both of them, you can tell, is that neither one of them is going to give an inch. And I don't expect them to, you know, you've got to say that the ability, the pure boxing ability is obviously with James, like I say, Olympic champion, two-time world champion, but you won't see many people, I don't think, with Chris's conditioning over 12 rounds. So, as, you know, as a general boxing fan, not just for us who work in the sport and live in the sport, for a general boxing fan, it's a really, really intriguing fight and one we look forward to. James is struggling with a bit of self-confidence, I think, at the moment, which is coming through. <laughs> uh, really and we'll, fun, that and we'll, uh, we'll look forward to the night. A last word, James? No, yeah, tune in. Uh, as I said, man, the retirement fight. Whoever, whoever loses, it's game over. But now tune in, 0-2, 25th of Feb, it's going to be a cracker. And Chris? Um, I'm, I'm bringing the heat, as I always do. And uh, James is talking about retirement. This is something that... For you, bro. It's never even come into my mind. So I'm talking, um, this is the retirement. Because when you lose, what are you going to do, Chris? Well, you know, obviously I don't have it in my mind to lose. Uh, I haven't even thought about that path. Obviously you have. No, I'm thinking about you, bro. No, think about yourself, man. This is a dangerous sport. There's, yes, there's, there's, there's nothing need to be thinking about. Fully focus. focused on the 23rd, bro. Okay, we'll, we'll okay. see. We'll okay, find okay out. sir. Guys, thank you very much. Okay, it's on then. James DeGale, Chris Eubank Jr., February the 23rd at London's O2 Arena. Before that, ITV begins the boxing year with two world title fights on ITV4, including, as Richard mentioned, Manny Pacquiao against Adrian Broner for the WBA welterweight world title. That's on January the 19th. For more details on that, go to itvboxoffice.com. Coming up, we'll speak to both men on ITV Box Office, Facebook and YouTube channels, and then both fighters, of course, available to you for further chats. Thank you very much indeed.